I'm just gonna see how this looks real quick. Hey everyone, real quick I want to thank for sponsor today's video being Karma, an app and Chrome extensions that ensures you never miss a price drop or a coupon code. So Karma used to be called ShopTagger, but they've changed their name to more accurately match what they do now. Promote good karma by helping you shop smart. So I've been using Karma for forever now. They help me get a sweet deal on the camera I'm using right now, and they're gonna help me get another sweet deal on a camera I'm about to buy. So to get started with Karma, it's super easy. Just download the Chrome extension or download it on your mobile device. What's super cool is you can visit your favorite store and it's just up in the corner here, which you can click, you can drag the icon around, you can save the item so you can get notifications, whether the price drops, or if it's out of stock, it comes back into stock. You can organize your items into different wish lists and categories to increase your mindfulness of shopping, avoid impulse buys, plus just being more organized. Here's my list, for example. So I have my computer list, I also have my camera list, and I can either show all my items at once or I can just show specific items to help me again be further mindful and specify my shopping. Karma also scans the webs for coupon codes and will automatically apply them to your checkout. And this special feature is on the Chrome extension, so you definitely download that on your computer. Additionally, you can actually earn money using Karma. When you shop with select retailers, you can actually get a cash back via PayPal, like I did booking my rental car through Expedia. So to save time, money, and be a smart shopper, click the link down below to get started with Karma's Chrome extension today. Hey everyone, Joel Lance here, and we're about to head out the door, go to Gladiator Burger. That's right, guys, heading back to Gladiator Burger. Uh, great people there to do an awesome challenge. This is gonna be the ultimate Gladiator Burger challenge. So on this Gladiator Burger, we have a whopping 15, that's right, 15, one, five, 15 patties. That's insane, I've never had a burger that big I, to my recollection. Uh, there's gonna be like bacon, lots of cheese, all that good stuff on there. I know we also have to pick a side um, and then a milkshake as well. So it's a big, huge burger um, with again, a side and the milkshake. So we'll get some more details about that. Let's go catch a drive, should be a lot of fun. The real difficulty and why this is also a big, big, big challenge for whatever it is, whatever gladiators do a battle. Cause we only have 20 minutes. That's right. So guys, 15 patty burger, side, milkshake, not a lot of time. So let's go eat some food, let's have some fun and let's go. Everyone, so here we are with the burger, absolutely massive and very suiting. This is the ultimate gladiator burger. So we're in for a fight today to say the least. Check out the mural as well. Beautiful, beautiful mural here. Um, so here we got 15 patties. That's right, a 15 patty burger, absolutely giant. Uh, we gotta order a sweet potato fries, epic side, and I also have to pick a belt chain. Go with strawberry, we have the option of strawberry, vanilla, or chocolate. So it looks very delicious. Also, a number of onion rings, beef bacon, all the toppings, all the fixings, or gladiator sauce, and all that. I do have a bottle of ketchup, shout out ketchup. So, with that, a lot of food. Let's get ready for a fight. Comment down below if you think I can do this right now. Hashtag yes or hashtag no. And with that, let's get started. All right, a lot of food, not very much time. So, I guess the way I'm gonna try to probably first navigate this is probably like kind of put it down on its side a little bit and then remove this big skewer because this is giant. Like I said, 15 freaking patties. I don't think I've ever had a burger with 15 patties before. That's, that's actually insane. Most people struggle to finish like a triple burger if they even could. Jeez Louise, what did I get myself into? All right, get myself a ketchup pile. And at that, that's pretty much about it. Make sure you guys can see me, I can see you, and uh, yeah, I look forward to that milkshake actually. I think it'll be very refreshing. The weather's starting to warm up. Ooh, all right, let's get going. Let's get the count of five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat some meat. Mm. That's very juicy. Juicy.
Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today we are here at Gladiator Burger in Mississauga, Ontario, taking on the Ultimate Gladiator. Yes, this is an incredibly big burger challenge, featuring a 15 patty burger, a milkshake, and a side, which as you see, I went with sweet potato fries. Shout out, sweet potato fries. So with a mere 20 minutes to complete this big burger, I knew I had to kind of get eating, get to it, put my head down, and kind of, well, let's say not do too much talking, uh, especially because this thing was huge. Huge! Oh yeah, so much patties getting real nice and hot down there. Good size patties too, six ounces. It's like nine, 90? 90 ounces of meat? So in addition to the 15 patties, we had beef bacon, we had uh, lots of different, uh, we had lots of cheese, we had some tomatoes, we had some lettuce, we had their uh, signature gladiator sauce, which is kind of like a sweet mayo, kind of like an aioli, I don't know, probably half comparable to like a glad uh, Thousand Islands dressing, maybe a little bit kind of like a Big Mac, um, really, really good stuff, like kind of like a little sweet, little tangy, savory, um, definitely very, very delicious, which also gave me some uh, to dip the sweet potato fries in as well. Woo! It's a lot of meat. The restaurant here is Halal, so if you follow those restrictions, definitely you are able to uh, have any of their burgers or any of their items here. Um, what I really, really liked as well is their buns. Their buns are really nice and soft. Um, I'm a big fan of like softer breads. I'm not one for, you know, overly crusty, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And even though they gave like the bun a bit of a toasting, like they toasted or grilled it or whatever a little bit, um, it was still very, very soft, really, really nice. Uh, the patties themselves uh, just had a pretty basic salt pepper seasoning, but that ain't a bad thing. I mean, salt pepper and beef taste delicious. And I must say, a burger is something that is just fantastic. I love burgers, um, especially with ketchup, and this burger was no exception. I was definitely very much enjoying the flavors of this burger. Um, I use my ketchup um, not only for flavor preference, which I do really like ketchup. Again, I think like ketchup with beef and or uh, French fries, like it's just it's a pair made in heaven. But I also use it as a bit of a tool. So using the ketchup, it adds lubricity. Um, you know, it helps add a little bit of moisture, a little bit of slipperiness to kind of help you essentially eat the food quicker. You know, swallow quicker and eat more efficiently, which I mean is really only relevant if you're doing a food challenge. However, that being said, shout out ketchup. I really do like ketchup. And uh, if any ketchup companies out there want to sponsor me, hey, I'm, I'm listening. Open ears, I'll tell you that much. As far as the sides, um, like they had like a normal French fries, they had onion rings, um, which I do like and normally I would consider getting. However, I already had onion rings on the burger, so I figured I'd try something else. Then they had sweet potato fries, which I'm a big, big, big fan of. They also had like cheese fries. Um, you know, some people who like cheese and cheese fries, I mean, hey, I mean, you could definitely go with that. I decided to go again with the sweet potato fries. I like sweet potato fries. And these are really good, nice and crispy. Um, Tasted like sweet potato fries, no complaints. And the milkshakes, vanilla, chocolate, strawberry, and with strawberry, I figured it'd be nice and sweet um, to counteract the savoriness of the meat. So coming on about five minutes in, definitely a lot of food. Patties are very nicely like, seasoned. Good taste of beef. Ugh. No shortage of food though, but we're doing not too bad. So hopefully you get the rest done, sweet potato fries, and then the milkshake. As I mentioned, there were 15 six ounce patties on this burger. So that's literally like 5.6 pounds of beef. Like, that's insane. Just think about that much beef alone. But with everything being nice and juicy, there were uh, no real issues eating it. In fact, it went down very smoothly. Um, and like I said, overall, definitely a very uh, enjoyable tasting burger um, and everything tasted good up until this point. Of course, I didn't get to the fries or the uh, milkshake yet, but I was definitely hoping to. 
And for those asking why I didn't uh, drink the milkshake along with the burger, I just didn't want to. I wanted to kind of uh, hof hopefully save it for the end, and I figured like, you know, hopefully I'd be able to like maybe mix in a little bit at the end, but I'd rather use my liquids for liquids and milkshake after. Is that onion ring? Really nice addition on that patty. Certain flavors on burgers just go oh so well. But that, everyone, that's pretty much all the information I have for you today. Very solid burger, uh, big, huge burger challenge. Um, the burgers on the regular menu have everything from like cheesy portobello mushrooms. They have deep fried cheese patties on them. Um, like they have cheese sauce they can drench on things. Really cool menu, lots of different food items, lots of food options. But that's pretty much it. Um, hope you enjoyed the video to this point. Ultimately, let's tune on in. Let's see what happens. Definitely a very big challenge. Not a lot of time. And I will say we're actually kind of running out of time. So fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Like the video, guys. And that, let's get to the rest of it. <laughs> no shortage of food, though. Thank you. All right, we're down to the last two patties, so these were 13 in. Got some onion rings, got the buns. Ooh. Meat sweats, y'all. Meat sweats. Excuse me. Excuse me. Comments to the chef. And one last thing, I forgot to say, um, the staff, huge shout out to the staff. They were exceptionally friendly, exceptionally accommodating. They really helped make the experience worthwhile. Everybody in the front of the house, the back of the house, everybody was absolutely fantastic. So huge thanks to all the staff, really appreciate you all. And uh, now, I'll let you get the rest of the video. About nine minutes in the burgers and chill.
Just down to the shape. About 13 and a half inch in. Fourteen and a half minutes. Woo, my brain freeze kicking in, that's for sure. Woo. But that very delicious challenge definitely was the ultimate gladiator. It definitely put a bit of fight. Woo, excuse me. Woo, yeah, brain freeze action. Oh, baby. I'm just drinking it through that straw. A little easier through the cup. Doesn't top, touch the top of your mouth as much. Well, everybody, really good challenge. Really nice food. No complaints. The burger is solid. Sweet potato fries were actually really, really nice, nice and crispy. The uh, milkshake was fire as well, actually. Strawberry milkshake was a really good choice. I'm glad it went with that. Perfect amount of sweetness, really uh, went well with all the savoriness, all this meat. Well, that's it, everybody. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Again, huge thanks to Gladiator Burger. Definitely check them on out. They got multiple locations across Ontario. And with that, until next time, say happy, healthy, hungry. Got the happy, healthy, hungry shirt out. You know, it's been a while. It's been a while, but I think it's, I think it's due time. I always get superpowers when I put it on, so. Till next time, everybody, I appreciate you. Let me know down below what you think of this video. Don't forget to hit like. If you are not subscribed, feel free to hit subscribe as well. I'd like to welcome you to the family. And with that, until next time, you know what to do.
Dang damn it, cat. You're gonna be down the menu next week if you don't shut up. So everybody, thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Click my face right here to subscribe. And also I picked two videos. That's right, two videos just for you that you might like. Right here. So like I said guys, hit that subscribe, hit one of these videos, do it right now. Until next time, have a lovely day.